What is going on gamers, RC Styles here, getting ready to do the next part of our Walking Dead Survival Instinct gameplay. This part I want to make note of is where you actually start um, making decisions on which direction to go, who to take with you, things like that. I'm going to break that down in this video, and I'm also going to let you know that in order to unlock everything in this entire game, you basically have to play the game twice, and what that means is if you go one way in the first playthrough go the opposite direction in the second playthrough if you take somebody with you in the first playthrough take a different person in the second playthrough etc etc but here's where we're going to go ahead and choose where we're going to go of course we only have one place to go so let's go ahead and head in that direction now when you get to this part you have a couple choices here you can take back roads which is going to have a lower chance of you breaking down and a higher chance of you finding supplies. You can take streets, which is going to be medium fuel usage and stop occasionally for supplies. Or you can take the highway, which is going to be the fastest route. And in this one, it's low fuel usage and stop only when necessary. I usually like doing back roads. Um, that way we can do supplies and shit like that. But right now, I'm going to take us straight in on the first one, and then we can look at all the other ones at a later time. Not a damn thing. My phone ain't working either. Hey, but you're dead. I don't know what to say about it. Then don't. Leave it be. We gotta tell Merle what happened. Yeah, I suppose we do. But we ought to warn people first. What? Go to the cops? Please. We gotta go get Merle. Merle, he's, uh, he's just not right. What'd you say to me, old man? Well, it's ten times the man you are. All right, all right. It just seems you boys turn hay into shit when you're together. All right, now we're actually entering into place after that short little cutscene. There's another one here, and then what the basic thing in here is going to be, we want to take only what we need with us, and we want to send our guy over here on an errand. Now, in this particular case, a guy here, he's very important to the storyline, so you can basically have him do just about anything, and he's going to be about successful nine times out of ten, whereas somebody you might have met that's not intricate to the storyline has a higher probability of dying, and, and you know, you, you lose them until you play through the game again. So what we're going to do here... We're going to go over on him. We're going to make sure that he's ready to do whatever we want him to do. First thing I want to do is give him a weapon. And if I remember correctly, he's good with guns. So we'll give him a bold action. And I want him to find fuel because fuel is going to be a really intricate part of what we need to do in the game so we're done with him he's going to go find fuel next we want to decide what we're taking with us so now we're going to go to this bag here here's what we have in our in on us directly on us and we want to transfer most of this over a hunting knife we don't want to transfer we want to make sure we have health items uh, you can carry up to nine of these at a time without them uh, taking up an extra slot. So we're going to do that, and we're going to throw this over there, and we're going to throw our fuel over there. Because if we find more fuel, then we don't need that in our current possession. Okay, so that's all good. we got a hunting knife to start with. We'll find more weapons as we go. As I said in a previous video, you do not necessarily want to use the firearms because they can attract more walkers. Alright, let's get back into the game here. So we got all that set up, now we're ready to enter the location, we're going to have just fine fuel, and we are basically ready to do this. Now this level is going to be... Well, I'll flip from here. Ah, boy. But them sacrilers came here, too. The lady. Town circle the wagons, you see. Looks like a DMZ. If there's any gas, it'll be at Lucky's. So we need to find gas scavenge for supplies, okay? Like, uh, the best thing to do is to stay low here. Take the long way around things if you can help it. 
we got to go over here to the left. This is going to be the pharmacy, as you can see right there. Thank you. That's what I wanted to do. Now I suggest you crouch while we're searching in here for supplies. Less likely of a chance of spoofing a walker directly. Lost and found. Always check your bodies too. Because if they're not quite dead, you can kill them real quick before they did, they get up. Check your shells, check your shells. Just some real quick stuff. Alright. Let's go in here. Check the corners and everything. There we go. Be careful going through here. You want to check everything out as thoroughly as possible. Turn off the flashlight and sneak up on this bastard and kill him. Okay, so now there's a ladder. Uh, coming up at another entrance to the building and there's a ladder coming up as well but first let's go check this place out first before we open any doors let's scout it out a little bit wait no I gotta wait we gotta go to the ladder first hey come on up here and talk a minute use the ladder Here's the dumpster we will buddy we will alright shut up I wanna check everything out and even when we get up here, we don't want to go talk to him first, right off the bat. What we want to do, is we want to come over to this direction here. Go down this ladder here. Go up, kill this walker. come in here is because our next collectible squirrel is here as well as some items. Okay. Now this can be unlocked if we wanted to. And we can now go back up the ladder as well. Let's go talk to this guy over here. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> How did I get to you? Oh, there it is. My bad. Jimmy Blake, last standing officer of the Sedalia SO. Go for you. The cycle's all over this place, too. The fighters? Yeah, they're everywhere, man. Where have you been? Up in the hills, huh? Didn't know nothing about them until the Torpor camp. Still don't. Uh huh. Well, let me bring you up to speed. More of them come every day. We help each other survive, or we don't. That's it. Normal rules suspended for the foreseeable future. That applies to good guys. And to, uh, hunters. 10-4? Yeah, I get it. But who's we? The kid holed up in the gas station. The deputy in the cell block. He's interesting. 
I want to do one last radio check before bugging out, though. Then do it. The batteries went dead two days back. Can't find fresh ones. If you can, I'm happy to supply a little bird's eye coverage. The hell of a shot. Batteries? Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I need gas, so. I think it's long gone, but the kid would know better than me. We'll talk when you finish the middle tour. All right. So now we have a side quest we can do. This is not necessary, but it really helps us out a lot with the upcoming battle with the walkers. So now that, that door we ignored earlier, we're going to go ahead and go through it. Explore all back here for items and stuff you might need. got going on keep an eye on our health there let's do a sport drink all right One thing I think we need to make sure to grab if I'm in the right spot is back in this corner over here. Go low. We will have a walker to deal with more than likely. this all right now let's head back out this direction check everything for supplies and remember go low Now we can go to the police station or we can go to the gas station, but we still got walkers to deal with, so this is where it's going to be a little tricky. No! 
Now we don't want to go in the front door. So now what we want to do, since we took care of that, is we want to go down this way and do the side mission for the police officer. Take your time going through here. Be careful. Got some more weapons. Oh, hello, bitch. And since I saw that one coming, let's head on upstairs.
You can check this area out. got me. Alright, so I gotta do this again, or? Look, Uncle Lester headed to the trailer park behind the general store. Okay. We got a lot of family And now we have access to the front door. Not bad. No, that's better. Alright, so we have no choice but to go down through that door.
That's gonna come in handy later. until Sheriff Turner comes up from Pemberton to relieve me. Gardner? Oh. From the damn ghouls! Who else? You slow? You sure he's coming? You can ride out for me. I trade your passage for some of what's in those crates. Get your damn eyes off the cash! I mean, listen, son. I'm staying. But I am hungry. If you were to slide me a bite to eat, a few items might walk out of this cage. You follow? Yeah. It ain't rocket science. Good. Real good. Well, look at here. Just told you that food would come in right handy. Here you go, son. What do you see we keep this transaction just between us? You sure you ain't coming with? Oh, hell no. This is my post. Where am I going to be safer? You don't have the key, do you? Go on now, kid. Leave me to my duty. What happens when we get home? Alright, now we gotta try to find those batteries. Now we got the batteries. We can go out that way we opened up earlier. Just right. I'll run the scan. In the meantime, I've got you covered. I'll be ready to leave town when you are. 
Meet you back at the north side of the barricades. Yep. Look forward to getting off this roof. That works. Make sure you're there when we go. You're gonna get left. You got it. All right, now we go and do the mission for Warren. There's probably going to be fresh walkers around. Gotcha. Ooh.
Hope you still got that Jenny key on your left. That's it. Big thanks. because I got caught up on those damn carts. <laughs> Didn't work either. Jess? 
I stuck the damn truck. All right, so we finally made it through that. Now we gotta choose. Normally here we choose who we take with us. Uh, it also depends on how much room you have in your truck. So next we're getting ready to travel to another area. Jess came back with 10 fuel. We got plenty of fuel. Uh, before we go to the new area, I'm going to remind you to hit the like and subscribe button. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss out on more kick-ass content from me and Gamers Purgatory. Make sure you just check the description below for a link to our Discord. And as always, I will be seeing you in the next video coming up here very shortly.